Hey guys, this is Brandon with MotionForm, and today I'm going to talk to you about Rhino versus SketchUp for 3D printing. Let's get started with this. I've done incredible 3D prints both with Rhino and with SketchUp. They've risen to the top, and I'll tell you a little bit about my background so you understand where I'm coming from and how I got to this place. First off, I'm an architect and I have been designing, I've been working in schools, I've been working on independent at projects with big clients, projects or small clients for their houses, and also even just for furniture. 3D printing is a natural extension of the 3D modeling that architects and designers are used to. And so getting over to the world of printing out those things that we were putting in computers, it was very natural. And here's my story with working with Rhino SketchUp. I was one of the first people to work in Rhinos back in the 90s, uh, you know, when AutoCAD was coming, uh, you know, into its next level. Rhino went off to do its own thing. And so I even got into SketchUp early after Google had acquired it. It was incredible for working with 3D forms. And so the break into 3D printing um, was a little bit, you know, the idea of the world of 3D printing was something I got into because I was doing um, a lot of modeling and you know I'd done that in school but I decided to go ahead and make my own 3D printer uh, four years ago and so now I'm just really in the world of 3D printing if ever something's interesting I want to 3D print then I'll get into that mindset I have a Prusa and so now the question is where are you going to go next are you going to Rhino or are you going to go to SketchUp and the way to give you the most for your decision is to break down each of the programs, go talk about the pros and the cons, and I'll give you like a little bit of a roundup and a recommendation for your projects. Okay, let's go ahead and start with SketchUp because SketchUp is the simplest. It's talked about with its promo sl slag line of the 3D for everyone <laughs> because it's so easy to use. And it's that's pretty much the first pro. Um, SketchUp is, relatively inexpensive it used to be free but the idea is relatively inexpensive and you can download it and be modeling 3d forms very quickly it has access to the 3d warehouse it has a lot of good plugins and it's also with built-in solid tools for working with 3d prints so here are some of the cons of sketchup and that's going to be some of the things that you'll look into rhino because there is like some sharp difference the first con is that it really can't do advanced geometry. Um, that being the concept is SketchUp works with meshes, points, lines, and surfaces. But when you start thinking about complex surfaces or lofts, uh, complex curves like Bezier, you start to get into math of things. SketchUp is not really the program for that. It can interpolate, you know, if you actually import something from like a 3ds Max or even like some AutoCAD or Revit form that is with curves, what SketchUp will do is SketchUp will turn it into a mesh. And that can even work out really great or it can work out really badly. So that's one of the limitations for sure. And also when you start wanting to do more complex things with forms, you will find a limitation. Uh, for instance, if you want to offset a surface, uh, even like really a simple surface, you either have to get a plug in or you're going to be doing like some manual pushing and pulling. And whereas that was really useful for doing small patches or developing a form quickly, if you're trying to work with something more complex, you're going to hit a wall with your SketchUp work. And then uh, finally, um, for sure, when you're working with SketchUp, uh, you, you know, you're, you're going to be uh, limited on that uh, plug-in base because that's one of the things as well. Uh, while it can full service be used for drawings and models for most types of building, um, you're definitely going to hit that wall when you're trying to do a lot more complex uh, design work or parametric work. Even though it's a parametric plug-in, it's still very limited. So those are the pros and cons for SketchUp. Now let's talk about Rhino. Rhino is an incredible program. Uh, it's been developing along the lines of, you know, the top programs. Obviously, it's not doing a software package every year, but each one is still really great. And it definitely is featured on like a lot of parametric software because it's like, it, it included Grasshopper in the latest versions of Rhino. So let's go to the 
pros in that estimation. Rhino is a full service animation, uh, modeling, and just really dealing with drawing and drawing sets program. Uh, it even has a plugin for building information modeling, though that's obviously not a big feature. The idea is you're going to be modeling a prototype in Rhino. This could be a prototype for a building, uh, a shoe, uh, automobile, a ship. The idea is that Rhino is great for that. It gives you tools for working with very complex solids, um, surfaces, curves, and the idea is it's still in the, the software. You know, it's not a plugin, but you actually can keep it in the a model. Like a, a curve is editable by its control points. That sort of complexity just makes it really great to use. And pretty much anything you want to do with surfaces, you can even convert them to meshes and even back. It's really in the program. And so now let's look at some of the cons to working with Rhino. The cons definitely start off with that other side of being full service is the time to learn. It's not going to be easy to learn the functions fully in Rhino. You get started, but you know, you're going to definitely hit a wall. Um, it gives you, of course, that simple menu for adding boxes or adding a sphere. But when you start wanting to do something, you have to start figuring, okay, how do you work on this? Like there's great tools. Like you can pick lines, you can uh, intersect and you could do a lot of solid works and also examine solid tools you can kappa geometry but the idea is like learning exactly what commands do that are going to be like your learning curve and i've been using it for 20 years and some of the new stuff i still have to spend time to learn uh, there's also the price tag rhino definitely goes over 600 dollars. if it's for students it's you know it's still about 300 but you know that's definitely a bigger price tag than the sketchup options um, and also at the end of the day um, you will be exporting from you know the surfaces in Rhino if you're going to be 3d printing into a 3d printer that typically reads meshes so if you don't you know prepackage what your meshes will look like uh, you're going to get a super big file that might crash your 3d printing software I use Repetier but the idea is whichever program you're using to go to your 3D printer, it's going to really be thinking about meshes. So your things that you're doing in Rhino have to be converted. Okay, so that's the pros and cons of SketchUp and Rhino. So now let's look at those for particular applications. So your versus is going to be like, a, you know, effective mix. Because you're not going to really use any one program for everything. I think um, you can, but the idea is here's what is best suited to that program. Okay, so if you're doing architecture, for instance, I have this, this model that I've recently done. Um, it is a building, it's a uh, academic building. And as you can see, it's very much orthogonal, though we have some, some varying um, elements of angles. And the thing for this model is it's perfect for a SketchUp. I started this, this was done in Revit, and so it was brought into SketchUp and I got a chance to just fix some of the imperfections um, and it, it worked really well. Um, I found it at first a little daunting because there's obviously you come from one program to the other, uh, there's some offset issues, but the fact is because it's like basic geometry, it pretty much interpreted everything really well. I just had to add a couple support structures. There are some overhang, overhanging elements in the model. And so it was very simple to fix those uh, after I you know, sp spent some time examining the model. Um, and so that's gonna be the type of thing that you're gonna deal with when working with SketchUp. Uh, simple forms, geometry forms, like it can be architecture with windows, with angles, even angled surfaces. Um, um, but it's it's just so easy like to patch things it will auto interpret things that are like near each other to make a solid and so that just is one great thing that will make your life easier um, for sketch using that and of course the 3d pretty, pretty much things with 3d warehouse are solid models so it really helps out now when you're trying to think more like curvilinear geometry cars surfaces uh, for instance like this little form i made um, recently so 
as you can see, there's a lot of curve in this. It was done with uh, Grasshopper. This sort of thing definitely could be printed if it was corrected and everything. But working with and creating something like this, um, it's best in a Rhino. Um, the idea is that when you're working with Rhino, it's going to be um, something that you can edit, you can change. When you get something like this into your SketchUp, as soon as you put it in, if you're converting it, it'll be like mesh geometry and it'll pretty much you have to start again to ever work with it. And so that's the beautiful thing about uh, working with Rhino. It's just so powerful. You could be creating this sort of form and then editing it and editing again. You know, it's, it's, it's an intelligent surface. You can even like delete parts of it and the surface has surface memory. And so that's one of the things that you're going to be working on more postmodern, curvilinear with your Rhino. And you're going to do that more simple, more modern with your SketchUp. Uh, no matter if you're an architect, designer, uh, fashion designer, you know, or just want to make fun prints, those are some of my input for which is best, Rhino or SketchUp. So you can decide from there. Thanks again for joining me. If you have some questions about Rhino or SketchUp, ask them in the comments below. I have made an incredible course for working with SketchUp for 3D printing, and I'm going to make one for Rhino. But you can see the link for that in the description below. Both are great programs, and I hope to help you as you go on that journey because I make some incredible content uh, based on 3D printing, parametric design, and just 3D modeling. Again, I'm Brandon with Motionform. I make this channel for architects and designers who want to do great things with 3D. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more great content for architects.